Okay, in this lesson, we are going to be finding interior angle measures of polygons. The success criteria is I can explain how to find the sum of the interior angle measures of a polygon. I can use an equation to find the interior angle measures of a polygon. I can find the interior angle measures of a regular polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure made up of three or more line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. So we have some examples of polygons right here. And then non-polygons, this one is, we have some curved sections, which we're not allowed to have. And then we have uh, an intersection not at an endpoint. So these are not polygons, these are polygons. The interior angle measures of a polygon. The sum S of the interior angle measures of a polygon with N sides is S equals parentheses N minus two, all times 180 degrees. So that's how to find out the total number of degrees in a polygon. Find the sum of the interior angle measures of the school crossing sign. So there's actually two ways to do this, which I'll do both. So one, we can just count the sides. I have one, two, three, four, five sides. So this is a pentagon. And if you remember the formula to find the number of uh, degrees of the interior angles add up to, all we got to do is write S is equal to parentheses N minus 2 times 180 degrees. So I just need to plug the number of sides in. That's what uh, n is. n is the number of sides. So I just have to plug my five sides into n. I get s equals 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. And this is just 3 times 180. And if you want, you can do it out. But 3 times 180 is 540. degrees. So I know that the total angles add up to 540 degrees for this crossing sign. Another way you could do this is by breaking this up into triangles. The way you would do this is by drawing uh, line segments from one vertex to all the other possible vertices that you can. Vertices is just vertex plural, and the vertex are just the, the points at the uh, end of each polygon. So anyway, if I start right here, I know I can draw a triangle right there. So here's my first triangle. And then I can do one right here. So now I've broken this up into three triangles. And a quick note with this method, you cannot uh, have this line go here. Like I could not do this. I couldn't do this because this is not from a vertex to another vertex. It's just a vertex to the middle. So that does not count. What I need to do is go from vertex to vertex. So anyway, I've broken this up into three possible triangles. There's no other triangles that I can make. And if, if you think about it, each triangle has an interior angle measure of 180 degrees total. So this would be 180. This would be 180. And this would be 180. And I'm doing the exact same calculation. I'm doing 180 times 3, which is, which is what I did here, which is still gets me uh, my answer of 540 degrees. So this is another way you can do this. This will work with all polygons um, if you want to do the triangle method, or you can do uh, the equation method. Both will work. In this example, we want to find the value of x. So I see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 angles. Okay. So uh, if this were a triangle, what we would do is we'd add up all three of the angles, set them equal to 180. But there are seven angles here and seven sides. So what I need to do is figure out the total amount uh, that the interior angles add up to and then write an equation using that. So we have, like I said, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. So you could have uh, drawn triangles in here, but I'm going to use the formula, which is S, which is the sum of the interior angles, number of degrees, equals N minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of angles or the number of sides. It's the same thing. So anyway, I know I have seven uh, angles and sides. So this is going to be 7 minus 2 times 180. And then this is going to be 5 times 180. And I know 5 times 180 is 900. So I know that all of these add up to 900, okay? So I'm not done, but now I know exactly what I need to set this sum of these angles equal to. So now I'm gonna write my equation down here. So I'll start with x and then go clockwise around. So I have x 
plus 128, plus 130, plus 120, plus 115, plus 145, plus 140. All of this is equal to 900. And it's barely fitting on my screen here. I'll zoom out a little bit. So that's 900, okay? So to solve this equation, all I need to do is combine all of my constant terms here, so to combine all my like terms, and then subtract whatever that number that is on both sides to find what x is. So I'm gonna just rewrite all these numbers vertically so I can add them all up. So I have 128, 130, 120, 115, 145, and 140. So here I have a set of five, so that's 10, and then I have 18. So that's, I'll bring up my one. Then I have a one and a two, that's three, plus three is six, plus two is eight, plus one is nine, plus four is 13, plus four is 17. Bring up my one, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So all my like terms combine to 778. So I'm going to write x plus 778 equals 900. That's what we had up here. So now to solve this equation, I see that I'm adding 778. So I'm going to subtract 778 on both sides. So I get x is equal to, and then I just have to simplify this. So I can borrow, borrow again, and I get two, two, this is an eight, believe it or not, and then that's a one. So x is equal to 122, which means that's it. The angle is 122 degrees, and our x value is 122, which we have written down here. So now we are done. A cloud system discovered on Saturn is in the approximate shape of a regular hexagon. Find the measure of each interior angle of the hexagon. So this word regular right here, when it comes to geometry and polygons, means that all of the sides have the same length and all the angles have the same number of degrees. Okay, another way to say that is all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. Okay, so here is our hexagon. I'm just drawing on the picture. You can sketch this. And we know that all of the sides are gonna be the same length and all the angles are gonna be the same, okay? Well, a hexagon has six sides and six angles. So to figure out the total sum of all the interior angles, I can use my formula. So S equals N minus two times 180, where there are six sides and six angles. So that's six minus two times 180 which is four times 180. And I know that that is gonna give me 720. You could do this out if you didn't know. Also, what you could do is do the triangle method. So you could pick a point, any, any of these ver vertices here. So I'll pick this one. So I'm gonna draw a triangle there, one right there, and one right there. Remember, each triangle, the interior angles add up to 180. So this would be 180, 180, 180, 180, so that's where we get the 180 times four, and we get 720. Now, that is not my final answer. I didn't ask for the sum, I asked for each interior angle, okay? Well, I know, and I'm gonna erase my uh, triangles here, I know that each angle is gonna have the same number of degrees, okay? And I know that there's six angles, so if they're, if they're, if they're all spread out evenly, all I need to do is take this total sum, which is 720, and divide that by the number of angles. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this, 720, by six, because of the six different angles. So you could use long division, or you could just know that 72 divided by six is 12, which is gonna give us 120. So each angle here is gonna be 120 degrees. And now we're done.